In this video, we were thinking about the why and the what when we're talking about creating books. And of course, we came up with keeping score for different types of games in this video. But a question was posed to the where can we get these interiors to actually create these books around keeping score? Of course, I provided my answer here, but we're going to go over to Creative Fabrica and dive a little deeper into how this actually works. And we're going to do that by typing in score sheets and simply hitting return. And that's going to come back with about 1800 results. So we have plenty of score sheets here to actually create a book, but we need to think about what we're going to use as far as a tool or the set of tools that we need to actually edit these interiors to make them unique, to make them our own. So we're going to take a look at a few of these because all these come in PDFs, but they also come in different formats to include PowerPoint, and of course we've talked about Affinity Designer, but there's also a new feature inside of Canva that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you that just by simply downloading a few of these and see exactly what we get when we download them and see what we get when we upload them into different tools. So we'll simply just start with this one right here, Football Score Sheet, KDP Interior. Scroll down and you can see here that it just shows that it comes in PDF files. So we'll go up here and we'll download that and we'll see what we can do in each of the three tools that I want to show you here. That will download a zip file, simply open that. It will unzip it. And then you'll see here that we have just the PDFs that we're going to be able to work with. So the first tool I want to show you is the new tool inside of Canva. Click Create Design and you have down here in Beta, Import PDF. So here we'll open that up and we'll just work with the single page and we'll open that single page. And then once that page is imported, we'll simply click on it. It will open it up. As you can see, it's still in beta, the PDF import feedback form over here. And what we wanna do here now is just simply bring this up. And what you see here is you see things are a little bit out of where they might should be. But the idea here is not so much the fonts and the words that are on this page, it's the actual score sheet itself. As you can see, all of these need to be reformatted. So you can simply click on these, delete them, undo that, simply click on this and say points. And you can see here how you're going to have to figure out exactly where you're going to be able to add this in, pass or run. And then move this over and say here, running total. And this is based upon what we see right here inside of the score sheet. So you can see now you can move this around, but you can see it's still not in the right space. So again, you can make it a little bigger. And again, that changes. The idea again here is where do we get the score sheets? We simply went to Creative Fabrica and typed in score sheets in the search box and it gave us all these different types of sheets. And you can see that one was just PDF. Let's click on this one, which is a Scrabble score sheet. If you scroll down, you can see that this is going to come in JPEG, PNG, PDF, and editable PPTX, which is PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and let's download this one. Click open to open up that zip file. That opens up the folder. And now what we have is the PDF files that we can edit there. Again, we could do that inside of Canva, or we can go here directly to the source files, JPEG, PNG. And now we have the option to use a second tool to actually edit this inside of PowerPoint. And as you can see, when you open that inside of PowerPoint, now everything is going to be exactly where it's supposed to be. It's gonna line up exactly because what you are working here is with the source file. And at this point, you simply come in and inside of PowerPoint, you can move this around, you can edit these. Of course, this is an image, so you could delete that image and add a different image. This is text. So here you could easily just play with the font and change the font to whatever you like. And you can see that's going to be changed. Come in here, play your scoreboard, change all this information, mess around here, play with each one of these shapes, these boxes. But the idea here is you can change this because it is the actual source file inside of PowerPoint. So go back to Creative Fabrica and you can see here, some of these show that they have the editable files and they're ready to upload. Some show that they come with JPEG and PNG. The thing you have to do here, and the best way to do this is find one of the designers that you like. 
You can see the designer right here. Then you can see everything that they have to offer and all the different formats they have to offer. And then you can work with it in exactly the format that you want to work with. And to do this, it just takes a little bit of time to find what you like, what you're looking for. As you can see here, a Yahtzee score sheet. You can see here, this comes in Adobe Illustrator. If you click that Yahtzee score sheet, open it up, scroll down, you're going to see you have the PDF file, the PNG images, the AI file. And if we do that and come down here and click download, then open that file, open that folder. Here you can see that you have the 01.ai. Then you open up Affinity Designer, go to that folder, open up that AI file, take the defaults here, click open. And now you can see that you have everything that you need here inside of this source file to use inside of Affinity Designer. Simply just ungroup all of those and go to work on editing the image. Of course, if we were to zoom in, you can see here that you can easily take these out and create exactly what you want because all of these images here are editable. So if you didn't want these stars and these unicorns, you could simply take those out. And the idea here is when you go back down, you have a score sheet, a scorecard, a place to start not a blank screen, but something that has been created for you for a starting point for you to go in, pick one of these tools, Affinity Designer, Canva, or PowerPoint. After you think about the why and the what, people want to keep score on, no matter if it's a board game or they go to an actual baseball game, a soccer game, a tennis match. And just like the question asked here, we have these ideas on books to keep score. The problem is how to get the interior. Now you know exactly how to solve that problem. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Type right here in the middle of the screen. Click that typewriter. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Just like the video that's recommended here for you on the screen now. Click it, watch it. I'll see you there, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.